Hi everyone, welcome to Remembers Corner. So, I had a super awesome weekend. Just started a new hobby, a hobby of taking random pictures. So, that in another section. So today, I'm gonna be answering a question. It's a plus two seven number, so he's from South Africa. And his question is, do you ever use near field speakers on your live gigs? And if you do, what are their benefits? Thanks. So yes, I have used um, near field speakers, for example, I remember I did an event in, in FMB Stadium, it was an uh, Easter event. This event I think they had in attendance about maybe 70,000 people, something along those lines. So, so no one was sitting on the actual pitch of the stadium, but the stage was on the pitch of the stadiums of the stadium and then front of house was also uh, in front of the stage as well so so the speakers we had them set up in the in the round on the floor of the stadium to cover the first seats of the stadium and then we also had a pa around uh, the top of the stadium where the seats were in that kind of setup i didn't have direct listening to the actual pa going to the audience so 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 then i used um, these uh, two near field um, monitors where my mixer position was and I also had like a small little PA for the field because there's like some dances and some people were getting uh, married as well you know but it wasn't like a very big system so the near field speakers what, what they did for me in that particular scenario is I could balance my mix you know because we without that reference I wouldn't know what the audience is listening to. So before the whole the whole event started, that is when I walked around the stadium, like tuning the system so that it is it is true to, to my reference songs or someone speaking. And then after that, when the actual event was actually running, I was using these near field speakers to basically listen to the mix and balance it. So in that scenario, yes, I used near field uh, speakers there have also been some some events where they don't want front of house position with the audience in like some gala dinners they've got so many tables they can't fit front of house in the area where you can actually listen to the to the direct sound from the main pa in that situation they would put us like you're like on a balcony right Be because my pa is not directed there to the balcony my best reference is is then having near field speakers so what, what i would also do is i would walk in the audience area again fine tune it so that whatever source i bring in is also through the system and then i also then to some extent to the best that i can i match my near field monitors to the main pa in terms of intangibility you know and i would also match in terms of level like if i walk in the audience area I listen to like how loud is it sounding and then when I come to my near food speakers I also take it up so that I'm in that sweet spot of almost how loud the PA is sounding so that way again uh, I've got a reference of I know what people are listening to in the audience area when you're in that position if the near, near food speakers are off you just hear this muffled sound but then now when you try to tune it to make it sound nice for you in that space it's actually sounding messed up where the audience is. In those scenarios, they will basically help you get like a more balanced, sweet mix, even if you're not in the in the sweet spot of listening to the main PA. Basically, that's it. Hopefully that helps. Thank you very much for watching Remembers Corner. Looking forward to talking to you again. Bye for now.